In this video we'll briefly discuss what is topiramate, and how it works, what it's used for, the dose and side effects, and contraindications and precautions. Topiramate is an anticonvulsant agent. It stimulates GABA-A receptor activity and reduces glutamate activity. Normally GABA-A receptors are inhibitory, and glutaminergic receptors are stimulatory for neuronal activity. By increasing GABA activity and inhibiting glutamate activity, topiramate blocks neuronal excitability, preventing seizures and migraines. Additionally, it blocks the voltage-dependent sodium channels, which further blocking seizure activity. It is available as 25 mg, 50, 100 and 200 mg tablets, and also available as 15 and 25 mg sprinkle capsules. Topiramate is used in the management of partial onset seizures, primary generalized tonic-clonic seizures, and seizures associated with Lennox-Gastaut syndrome, and it is also used for migraine prophylaxis. The usual initial dose for seizures for adults is 25 to 50 mg per day, that can be increased in 25 to 50 mg per day increments at weekly intervals, to 200 to 400 mg per day, in two divided doses, and the usual maintenance dose is 400 mg per day. And for pediatrics from 2 to 16 years, the usual initial dose is 1 to 3 mg per kilogram per day, for the first week, that can be increased at 1 to 2 weeks intervals, by increments of 1 to 3 mg per kilogram per day, in two divided doses, to 5 to 9 mg per kilogram per day. And for migraine prophylaxis, the usual initial dose for adults is 25 mg at night, increased by 25 mg per day every week, to 100 mg per day, in two divided doses. Topiramate may cause somnolence, dizziness and ataxia, speech problems, psychomotor slowing, nystagmus, paresthesia, fatigue and nervousness, difficulty with concentration or attention, confusion and depression, weight loss, tremor, and kidney stones. Take medication with food or without food. Adequate fluid intake, 2 to 3 liters per day, is very important to minimize renal stone development. Avoid intake of alcohol and other CNS depressants. And also avoid driving and other activities requiring mental alertness or that are potentially dangerous until response to medication is known. Avoid using OTC medications without first informing the treating physician. And finally, this medication shouldn't be stopped abruptly, that may precipitate seizures. That's all for this video, subscribe and click on the bell icon for more animated medical videos like this one.